kids, welcome to Teacher Beth Class TV. We will now continue the second part of our lesson about measures of length, mass, and capacity. In this lesson, we will now focus on the measures of mass and capacity. In this lesson, you will know how to convert mass and capacity measures from larger to smaller units and vice versa. Are you ready? What unit of measure do we use to measure the mass of the following? Here is a table for some units of mass or weight. 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams and 1 gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. The basic unit of mass is gram. The other standard units of measurement for mass are kilograms and milligrams. Kilogram is used to measure the mass of heavy objects, while milligram is used to measure the mass of light objects. Just like linear measure, we can also convert unit of mass from a larger unit to a small unit and from a smaller to larger unit. So this is a conversion lookup diagram for the measurement of mass or weight. So we have kilogram, gram, and milligram. Kilogram to milligram are units from larger to smaller unit, while milligram to kilogram are units from smaller to larger. To convert units from larger to smaller, we use the operation of multiplication. Just like kilogram to gram, we multiply to 1,000. And gram to milligram, we also multiply it to 1,000. And to convert from smaller to larger unit, we use division. Just like milligram to gram, we divide it to 1,000 and gram to kilogram, we also divide it to 1,000. Again, when we convert a unit of measure from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we use multiplication. Let's have this example number one. Convert 12 kilograms to grams. Remember, 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So, 12 kilograms is equal to 12 times 1,000 grams. And this is equal to 12,000 grams. Or we can also do the rules of moving the decimal. So, 12 kilograms is equal to 12 times 1,000 grams. So, again, 12 times 1,000. We're going to move the decimal three times since this is 1,000. So from here, 1, 2, 3. So we add three zeros. 1, 2, 3. So the answer is 12 kilograms is equal to 12,000 grams. Let's have another example. Convert 1.8 grams to milligrams. So 1.8 grams to milligrams. And 1 gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. So 1.8 grams is equal to 1.8 times 1,000 milligrams. And it's equal to 1,800 milligrams. Or we can also do, again, the rules of moving the decimal. So 1.8 grams is equal to 1.8 times 1,000 milligrams. So 1.8 times 1,000. So we're going to move the decimals to the right three times. So from here, 1, 2, 3. So we add 1, 
to zero. So the answer is 1.8 grams is equal to 1,800 milligrams. And when we convert a unit of measure from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we use division. So let's try example number three. Convert 720 grams to kilograms. So we have this. And one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. 720 grams times, we're going to write the unit of conversion, which is 1 kilogram over 1,000 grams. So we're going to cancel the same unit, which is the gram. Then multiply 720 times 1 is equal to 720 kilograms divided by 1,000. And it's equal to... 0 0.72 kilograms. Or we can also do the moving of decimal. So we have 720 grams to kilograms. 720 divided by 1,000. So we're going to move the decimal three times to the left. So from here, 1, 2, 3. And here is the decimal. So this is 0 0.72. So the answer is 720 grams is equal to 0 0.72 kilograms. Let's do the last example. Convert 225 milligrams to grams. So Remember, 1 gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. So we have 225 milligrams times, let's write again the unit of conversions, which is 1 gram over 1,000 milligrams. And cancel the same unit, which is the milligram. Now let's multiply 225 times 1, and it's equal to... 225 grams divided by 1,000, and this equal to 0 0.225 grams. Let's do the rules of moving the decimal. 225 milligrams to grams, so 225 times, or divided by 1,000 rather. And let's move the decimal to the left three times. So from here, one, two, three. So here is the decimal, 0 0.225. So the answer is 225 milligrams is equal to 0 0.225 grams. Let's now proceed to the units of measure of capacity. And here is a table for some units of capacity. 1 kiloliter is equal to 1,000 liters, and 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Capacity refers to the ability of an object to hold something like gas, liquid, and other solid substances. We use milliliter to measure a small amount of liquid and liter for larger quantity of liquid. We use kiloliters to measure the capacity of very large objects that can hold a lot of liquid. Example of this is the capacity of a swimming pool or a bathtub. This is a conversion lookup diagram for the measurement of capacity. So we have kiloliter, liter, and milliliter. Just like the other conversion of units, from larger to smaller unit, we use the operation of multiplication, while from smaller to larger unit, we use division. So from kiloliter to liter, we multiply them to 1,000, and liter to milliliter, multiply them also to 1,000. Milliliter to liter, we divide them to 1,000, and liter to kiloliter, we also divide them to 1,000. As I've said, when we convert a unit of measure from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we use multiplication. So let's solve this example. 
convert 15 liters to milliliters. So, 15 liters to milliliters. And we all know that 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So, 15 liters is equal to 15 times 1,000 ml. And it's equal to 15,000 ml. So, let's do now the rules of moving the decimal. 15 liters is equal to 15 times 1,000 ml. So, 15 times 1,000. We move the decimal to the right. So, we move it three times from here. One, two, three. And add three zeros. Since this is 1,000. So, one, two, three. So, the answer is 15 liters is equal to 15,000 milliliters. And when we convert a unit of measure from a smaller unit to a larger unit, again, we're going to use division. So let's try this example number two. Convert 600 milliliters to liters. And we all know that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So we have 600 ml times. We're going to write the unit of conversion, which is 1 liter over 1,000 milliliters. And we're going to cancel the same unit, which is the milliliters. Then 600 times 1 is equal to 600 liters divided by 1,000. So we have 0 0.6 liters. So let's do the move uh, moving of the decimal so 600 ml to liters so we have 600 divided by 1000 so we're going to move the decimal to the left three times so from here one two three so here is the decimal so we have 0 0.6 so the answer is 600 ml is equal to 0 0.6 liters. Once again, these are the measures of mass and capacity. So for the units of measure of mass, 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. 1 gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. And for the units of measure of capacity, 1 kiloliter is equal to 1,000 liters. And 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So when we convert units from larger to smaller, we use multiplication. While from smaller to larger unit, we use division. Convert each item to the required unit of measurement. To actively participate in this activity, you may also do this in your notebook. For numbers 1 to 3, convert from liter to milliliter. Number 1, 7 liters to ml, 2, 26 liters to ml, and 3, 4.7 liters to ml. Let's check your answers. So we have 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Since this conversion is from larger to a smaller unit, so we use multiplication. And for number 1, 7 times 1,000. So we're going to move the decimal to the right 3 times. So from here, 1, 2, 3. So we add 3 zeros. One, two, three. So seven liters is equal to 7,000 milliliters. For number two, 26 times 1,000. Again, we're going to move the decimal three times to the right. From here, one, two, and three. So we add three zeros. One, two, three. 
So 26 liters is equal to 26,000 milliliters. For number 3, 4.7 times 1,000. Again, we're going to move the decimal three times to the right. From here, 1, 2, 3. And we add two zeros, 1, 2. So 4.7 liters is equal to 4,700 milliliters. And for numbers 4 to 6, convert from milliliter to liter. For number 4, 980 milliliters to liters. 5, 1,200 milliliters to liters. 6, 3,500 milliliters to liters. Let's check your answers. So, 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Since this conversion is from smaller to larger units, so we use division. So, for number 4, 980 divided by 1,000. So, we're going to move the decimal to the left three times. So, from here, 1, 2, 3. And here is the decimal. So, 980 ml is equal to 0 0.98 liters. For number 5, 1,200 divided by 1,000. So, again, we're going to move the decimal three times to the left. From here, 1, 2, 3. So, here is the decimal. So, 1,200 ml is equal to 1.2 liters. And for number 3, 3,500 divided by 1,000. Again, we're going to move the decimal to the left three times. From here, 1, 2, 3. So here is the decimal. So 3,500 ml is equal to 3.5 liters. Thank you for joining me. Let's learn, play, and grow together. Teacher Beth Class TV Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.